So this is part of the, what I'll be doing, a series of monologues called Undiscovered Works. So, I mean, all this time, all along, I've been doing the ultimate in multitasking. It's, it's so incredible. It's, it's really schizocasting. Because the whole time I'm working, and I'm in that meeting, I'm not in the meeting. I don't just mean, oh, well, well, I pay my uh, Con Ed bill while I'm sitting there listening to somebody talk. I mean, the whole time I'm talking in front of a bunch of people about user-centric design, improving customer interaction, and I, I'm, I'm a camera high up in the corner of the conference room, shooting the scene, and, and then craning down, and then we dolly around the table, okay? And then I want to get a two-shot of those uh, insurance executives over there. They look completely lost. And then we got to get a three-shot of those dot-commers over there. They can't wait to go out and get wasted. Hey, come around over here. Let's get a shot over the shoulder of this kid doodling. What is this an anime dinosaur with go-go boots and a lightsaber? <laughs> I don't know. You know. Then, then I'm, I'm in the roof of, of the building across the street with the headset on, the camera crew, the cameras peering into the wall of windows, and there's the conference room that I was in. There's Mahesh and Nagesh playing Battleship with their laptops across from each other, and Sabine whipping her pashmina scarf like a priest waving incense in church. And there's me up at the whiteboard, but it, it's not me, it's, it's Seth Rogen playing me. And, and we pan from that window, then tilt up to the Empire State Building uptown, the water towers of Soho buildings in the foreground. I take the crew on a pre-production location scout to study offices. You know, we gotta get this right for the movie. So yeah, you know, they all try, they try to make it fun, uh, you know, but bottom line, it's people at desks with computers. I don't care what they do, make it Barcelona chairs, Philippe Stark, tables, chairs, flowers, put in sliding boards, ping pong, the foosball, run a fucking zip line from one end to the other. What difference does it make? You see cubes and offices. Cubes, well, some that one looks like an ultra modern pod. This one looks like a spaceship. Nice try. Still the same people in the same situation. And what's on every desk? A computer. Wow. So here's the cube of the administrative assistant. I mean, an administrative assistant is the new name for, for what people? Secretary. Secretary, right, right. On the one hand, secretary was too demeaning or something. On the other, what was Hillary Clinton? Administrative assistant of state? The workspace. Festooned with family pictures and babies and fireplaces, postcards, anything to brighten her otherwise dull day. Oh, did I say her? Am I gender typing? I'm not. Corporate America is. And around the monitor is a bunch of Etsy gone wrong creepy creatures. Pipe cleaner people and pasta poodles. And, and she's reading emails for the boss's flight. Next, the cube of the developer. Phone book size volumes called striking Python programming and get with Angular JS bombastic bootstrap. And this is not a neat place. There's no place to sit, no place to work, it seems. And there's monitors all over the place. And there's code on a screen. And you might even see some lambdas and deltas and engineering eights and zeros. The only thing Clean and shiny here is a one-quarter scale C-3PO, gold, highly accurate. If it weren't for the size, you expect it to say, oh, Excuse me, sir, but that R2 is in prime condition, a real bargain. <laughs> now come along, let's look at the offices. Now here's someone with a decent-sized office, nice desk, chair. He's got a door, so he must be somebody not like those people in the cubes. There's another office, bigger. She's got a desk, bigger window, more light. Couch, too. Whoa, whoa, come on, let's look at this one. Got the desk, the chairs, credenza, a sectional couch, a bookcase with the Malcolm Gladwell boxed set. One minute. A TV, a fridge, a fucking marble chess set with pieces that weigh 20 pounds. What the hell is this? This is a fucking apartment. Now, come along here and let us look at the creative director's office. A curious species indeed. It's more playpen than workspace. It, it bespeaks the freedom and, and wanderlust of the creative mind, all contained within the proper protocols of a corporate workspace. In the corner, a Fender Stratocaster. Maybe there's a drum kit on the wall, a surfboard. There's Lego, Silly String, Play-Doh. What is, is this guy potty trained? <laughs> <laughs> and this is the scene every day. A hustle here and a hustle there. A dramatic arc purely mapped to the hours of the day. Nothing more, nothing less, with nothing much at stake except sit in meetings, see mouths move, faces connect and stare, getting past the next obstacle, keep this job at work, take the money and run home to put food on the table, cover our eyes and asses with TV books and games. Hey.